it's always really nice, even when you don't achieve your, your big goal to walk away with um, you know a medal from a championship, standing on the podium again, and being consistently in that top three makes a huge difference. Um, and just coming back and that motivation to get back to that top of the podium, it's not always going to be you know, a straight road to the top, but um, you know, I've really enjoyed the journey so far. Yeah, it was a real mixed emotions. I didn't know how fast we'd ran, um, and so knowing that I'd gone faster than Mo Farah's British record was was a huge moment for me. Um, and then it was just making sure that I was in the silver medal and not the bronze. Uh, that was another big moment as well. So small little wins along the way, but um, obviously knew that I didn't quite get that gold medal. So uh, bittersweet, but you know, I still really enjoyed uh, all the atmosphere and being able to do the lap of honor. And everything. So yeah, it was great. What I see, especially from from the national lottery, is, is the setups that we have from Team GB. I think you know uh, a lot of teams are jealous of everything that we get and the support system that we have um, in the holding camps and you know in the village and, and everything that we get in that. And you know we got a couple of good scratch cards as well. I'll tell you that. And uh, I've won a good couple pounds off of that. And uh, you know it's. It, it makes such a huge difference because we want to be elite athletes and, and being able to have the right support system and, and the right staff around you makes a massive difference in being able to win your 1% battles and that's what we're trying to do is win our variables throughout the, throughout the competition days.